Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is April 21st, 2018. We're in the New Riverside section of Bluffton at the Haven, the Del Webb 55 and over community of beautiful brand new homes like this one by Pulte, the Tangerly Oak model just finished by some of my clients for whom I was the buyer's agent. And we're gonna walk through this house. We'll talk about it. It's one of a handful of models that they built here at the Haven. It'll give us a chance to talk about the production uh, process of uh, homes like Pulte and many of the other builders are doing in Bluffton these days. It'll give us, give us a chance to talk about the Haven per se and about my services as a buyer's agent. So before we walk through here, let's just take a look around and see that these houses, how they look. They're built with the concrete fiber board, which is the state of the art in construction today. And each of these homes have six elevations. <clears throat> so it creates quite a variety with the different elevations together with the different color selections that you, the buyer, can make well, the Haven has a beautiful clubhouse. It has a large outdoor swimming pool. It has pickleball courts, hard true tennis courts, a dog park, bocce courts. Uh, they also have a vegetable farm for uh, farming your vegetables, which you're not allowed to do at your home. And of course, the Haven is a gated community. The annual HOA fee here in 2018 is $2,436. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company is Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and gated community specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this house. Uh, my buyers really like covered front porches, so my buyer chose for an elevation that had that. Beautiful squared pillars. They had a lot of other things that they chose for as we went through the house, what we call options. We'll walk through that process as we go along because in a nutshell, when you buy one of these homes, of course, first you choose your community and you have a budget that you're working with. So you're going to choose the community that has similar priced homes. You're gonna choose a model that has the size and features that you like and that is gonna meet your budget. You'll choose your building lot and then finally all the different extras or options to add, add on to that. And in a nutshell, that is the process. Well, with this one, the thing that's distinctive about this house, the Tangerly Oak, 2,565 square feet, so it's a good sized house. It has two master bedrooms. So two bedrooms with private bathrooms, also the home office. The house comes with a uh, wooded entrance on the floor and of course tile in your bathrooms and in your uh, laundry area. In this case, this owner added a lot of wood flooring and the place where people add so much extra in their home is typically to the flooring, in the kitchen, to the cabinetry, and in the bathrooms with tile showers, the countertops, things like that. Well, uh, this home here as you come in, the kitchen, is immediately to the right. This is your informal dining area, which is where most of us take our meals, of course. And we're gonna enter the house this way, stepping off to the right, looking across the kitchen with the big one level island, the granite countertops, the stainless steel appliances, the white cabinets with the staggered tops. These are all things that many buyers are choosing for these days, ladies and gentlemen. Notice the pendant lights hanging over that island. And most of the buyers then have a choice with their vents over their kitchen ranges. Do you like this newer style, more contemporary 
stainless steel vent. You can choose for that. And when you do, notice that your backsplash comes from the countertop all the way up the wall and is showing then behind that flue. Or do you like more of the traditional cabinet style vent where you'd have another cabinet directly over your range here and it would be the same style as the cabinets, would not be stainless steel. And that's your other choice. Now the Haven is a gas community, so at the same time you don't have to have gas appliances. Well, this owner not only chose for the gas appliances, but they also upgraded from the Whirlpool to the KitchenAid, which is made by Whirlpool. It's their top of the line product, and they opted for that. Either way, on the vents, the microwave has moved out from over the range top to the side. Again, it's the KitchenAid stainless steel. And then we have the beautiful island with the granite. When you build, ladies and gentlemen, you choose the granite. Now, standard, or what in Pulte verbiage is included, is a certain choice of, say, I believe it's three different granites, two or three granites. Then many people, of course, immediately start upgrading to level one, level two, level three. It goes right on up, and top of the line today is what's called quartz, which is very popular because it has resin in it and is more stain resistant and chip resistant than granite. But let's just quickly take a look here. This owner went with white cabinets, very popular these days. And they chose their own, of course, handles and pulls. The wood floor, they decided they wanted to run right on through the kitchen. And they chose for what is called the farm sink. In this case, the porcelain farm sink, because they also come in stainless steel. The key feature here, of course, is not just the retro design going back to farmhouse days, sometimes called a farmhouse sink, but that it has the single bin design. You know, the older stainless steel ones are shallower. They have the dual sides. This has the one piece larger bin. And they went with the rubbed brass uh, um, hardware throughout this house. And in this case, the Swan Neck faucet. Also well, exclusive here to pull tea. I don't know if it's patented or anything like that, but they have the elevated dishwasher which is uh, something that I've only seen Pulte offer. Um, this buyer decided they like that, and they chose, of course, for the KitchenAid, which has the stainless steel bin. What that means is when you have these open kitchens, the, the, the stainless steel bins are quieter, they're better insulated. Of course, the KitchenAid is just a better machine than most, but it's also well insulated and has the stainless steel bin. You wanna look for that with these open kitchens new generation kitchens. We'll walk back through the, the kitchen, but let's just continue on through here. This is our big contemporary floor plan, the open design, our living room off to the left with a trio of windows back to the screen porch, which was one of the structural options that this owner chose. The formal dining area is right here. And it's great to have a big table out like this anyway, even if it's not for formal dining, we all can use it for different things. So we have uh, the wainscoting in the dining area. We have a lot of extra um, crown molding that goes around through this house. Before I leave, leave the kitchen, I just wanna come back and show you how great this cupboard is, or pantry, I guess you could say. We have the... Um, lever style handles. Again, it's that dark bronze. Big, big pantry with the wire shelving. I think that's big enough for most people. See, it goes right on around the corner there with even some more. Big pantry. The double oven configuration here. So not only do we have the, in this one, not only do we have the uh, microwave, which has moved out from over the uh, range top, but we have a full double oven and we have under cabinet lighting, which is really nice. Another option and beautiful subway tile, tra classic, traditional white, always good. Interesting thing about this, the Whirlpool uh, um, refrigerator. Well, it's got a different style, doesn't it? 
we learned, the owners and I learned together, that Whirlpool is way, way behind in their production of the KitchenAid refrigerators. So what KitchenAid did or what Pulte did is they just gave the buyer this refrigerator, did not charge them for a refrigerator, gave them a big check as a compensation. Uh, I have another buyer that uh, just walked through a house with the other day in Sun City, Hilton Head. Same thing, they chose for the KitchenAid. KitchenAid Whirlpool cannot stay up with their KitchenAid refrigerators. Uh, just an interesting thing, you know, these things, uh, there's always something new happening. That's the first time that's ever happened in my career anyway. <clears throat> and let's hope that KitchenAid resolves the shortage of the production. I guess that success has its, uh, has its problems. This is the sunroom, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a total option, what's called a structural option. We talk, we, I agreed that we would talk about the production method. Well, when you choose your house, there are certain things you need to decide upon right away. One of them is, do you want certain structural extras, like a sunroom, like a screen porch, like the sliding telescopic door you see with the triple panel there that goes from this sunroom out to the screen porch. That's just a beautiful door. It's an expensive option. These owners went with it. They decided then to go ahead with a covered porch out here and to screen it. We need that in our southern climate so that you can step outside and enjoy the beautiful semi-tropical weather that we have here in Bluffton, South Carolina. And the master bedroom then is over to the right rear of the house. We have a little privacy jog off of this living area around the corner where once again we have a trio of windows. You notice that the window blinds are already in place so that's another option that this owner chose for. Now the ceiling fans are not in place and that's because many of the owners choose to get their own fans and have them hung after the house is finished. That's what this owner decided to do as well. They're also gonna hang a couple of chandeliers of their own choice that don't come out of the Pulte design book. <coughs> Perfectly okay to do that. And they'll have an electrician come in <coughs> and to hang their fans and hang those chandeliers all at one time. Well, this is then our master bathroom. <coughs> Several noteworthy worthy things here. The framed mirrors are pretty much the way to go these days as opposed to just the fixed glass mirrors that we've seen for so many years. <coughs> they have a beautiful dual vanity with the long countertop, the undermount porcelain sinks. Once again, we see the rubbed brass Hardware looking good, the new rectangular basins. We've seen these now for a few years. The owner opted to upgrade from the white cultured marble, which is standard and included, to a granite top. That's their choice. They blended it all together, again, as they did in the kitchen, at least in the island. You may, not, you may have noticed that the island had the dark cabinets. It was the rest of the kitchen that was white and they brought those dark cabinets into this bathroom and the other one. That's our closet there at the back rear. But on this side, they have the super shower, <laughs> which is another option. Your standard bathroom comes with a tub and shower and it's a fiberglass tub and shower. So you can upgrade to a tiled shower. You can do away with the tub altogether as many of my buyers do. And in this case, the super for shower is not only real big, look how big this is. It's real big and no curb. It's flush with the rest of the bath floor. No curb, long, long, big area, glass panel, and they also then added a shower head, a rain head, which is like taking a shower out under a, a waterfall. The high horizontal window lets in the natural light. It's a bright shower. They have a bench over here. It's all tiled. It's the super shower <laughs> option that some of my buyers choose for. It looks great. I'm very happy for them. 
This then is the walk-in closet, and in the Tangerly Oak, it is humongous. This is just the one half. The other half is over here. So it's a his and hers um, uh, closet, which is just each half is as big as what it is, would be in its, in its entirety in many homes. But look at how big this is. It is big. Now this little door that you see over here is actually the pass-through to the laundry room. We'll go around and see that from the other side. They pass through to the laundry and they've done a great job in the laundry too with a stainless bin. They brought granite into their laundry on the countertop. They have extra cabinets in here. <laughs> That's a beautiful laundry. We'll go see that from the other side, get a better look. This then is our master bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. The commode is in this little closet here to the right. You have the tiled floor, which is standard. Standard to have tile. When you see beautiful tile like this, though, this is an upgraded tile. So we're looking at many upgrades in this house. As you will see in the models, the models for Pulte are over at Sun City Hilton Head and they're highly decorated and staged, upgraded to show you all the different things that you can have in their houses. They do a magnificent job. And uh, then the, you, the owner, you, the buyer, decide, well, how much of that do you really want and need? Do you want crown molding in your bedroom like this, like they have here? Do you want to have a tray ceiling which this owner elected not to have. Some other owners will say, sure, let's go ahead. And it just keeps adding on and adding on. When you're finally finished with all those options, then they'll build the house for you. When you choose your options, they'll build the house for you. And they will guarantee that price to the penny. I've never seen a single owner have a price increase after the contract was signed. And that's one very good thing about these production builders is that they know how to control costs. And of course they've built the house different times so they know what the cost is gonna be. But if there was some overrun that they couldn't foresee, well, that's their problem, not yours. Let's take a look over here. We're back in the kitchen area to the right of the dining area, heading towards the garage. Here is that laundry that we just saw from the master bedroom closet. These owners really did add a lot of things. This is a beautiful laundry room. Beautiful tiled floor. The extra cabinet standard would just be to have a wire shelf. The uh, wash bin itself is optional. All of that cabinetry is completely optional, ladies and gentlemen. They went with that. Also optional is what's called the drop zone. This is a bit of woodwork in here with that bead back. <coughs> the hooks and shelves, completely optional. This owner decided to go with that. It is beautiful. There's extra storage there in the seat. Let's just take a quick look in the garage. <coughs> Standard is uh, to have the automatic door opener. You would choose your garage door. In this case, they went with the choice I would have made to have the upper level uh, windows across the top there that illuminates the garage with natural light. I think that's a good idea. And the Tangerly Oak, plan has this extra <coughs> storage area, the extra garage area back here. It could be referred to as a th three car garage for that reason. Um, yeah, certainly plenty of room for a golf cart. Some people would look at that and see a, uh, a hobby car back there or a woodworking shop. Any number of uses for that. Now what this uh, OSB is here, these are our wind shutters, which we are required to provide. To meet code, we do have Dade County Hurricane Standards when it comes to wind. That's what you get to meet that code. Although you'll probably never deploy them in the last two big storms that we had in 2017 and 2016, uh, we did not have any damage out this way at all. That was a more of a coastal Hilton Head Island phenomenon. Here is your whole house water cutoff. A good thing to have so that if you uh, leave your house on vacation and you don't want to take any chances with a leak while you're away well you just turn off that 
water cutoff. It does not cut off the water to your sprinkler system, so it doesn't mean that your yard will die. I may have mentioned that all of the yards are sprinklered, sodded and sprinklered, and that system is included in the price. Well, here we are back to the beginning, back to the foyer. There's our front door to the left. This is the office, then diagonally across with a glass panel above or transom. And the wood floor flows right on in. We have a pair of windows here at the front. Now this is a true office and not a bedroom in my opinion because there is no closet here, although that recess to the left there could become a closet very easily. But there's no bathroom immediately here. There's just the half bath around the corner. The French doors also give you the clue, if you will, that this is an office because you wouldn't put doors like that on a bedroom. This is a home office, ladies and gentlemen, for him or her or both of you. The color paint that you have on the walls is what's called agreeable gray. It's remarkable how it does agree with so many things and how it is the first choice of so many people. <coughs> but again, your choice with Pulte is to have what's included, which is just white walls, white ceiling, all the same color. Your trim is always still painted a bright white, a semi-gloss white, but walls and ceilings, the same white. Your next choice up, which is an option, is to say, well, you'd like to have white on the walls, but you'd like to have a bright white ceiling. And uh, certainly everyone wants that if they, most people choose for that. But what most people choose for is what I'm really saying is they go then to one of the colors, which is either a beige or the agreeable gray are the two colors that they're offering these days. And uh, most people seem to be choosing for, the, uh, choosing for this agreeable gray. Uh, just in Sun City yesterday, where another one of my buyers is building and we did a walkthrough, I thought, this is interesting, I've never had an owner that I can recall choose for just the no option choice of having just the, um, the, the plain white walls and ceiling, same color. They chose for that. And while I was doing my walkthrough, because of the shadows and the way the sun was playing in the house, I thought they had chosen the agreeable gray, but they hadn't. They had uh, just gone with the included uh, paint and <laughs> it looked great. I had never seen it before. I was very happy for them. Uh, over here to the left side is the second bedroom, which uh, is one of the distinctive things about the Tangerly Oak floor plan. You have this second master bedroom, and what makes it a master bedroom is the fact that you have this private bathroom, which is not a small one. It's a large, it's a large bathroom, not as large, as the master bathroom because it does just have the one um, the one vanity but it's the same quality same quality but it has the one vanity but because it has then a walk-in shower with the um, sliding door so it's not in other words a fiberglass tub and shower in this case the owner opted to go with a tiled shower Again, with the high window, bringing in natural light. They would have had a choice to go with the fiberglass pan or the tile pan. And they went with the fiberglass pan. The walk-in closet is much bigger than what you would get in most second bedrooms, all of which makes the Tangerly Oak unique and then it has what I call a second master bedroom with this private bathroom. Very popular model. It also comes, by the way, with a second floor loft. One of my buyers across the street uh, added the loft. Just outside the door here, we have our half bathroom with the pedestal sink. Again, the wood floor comes right on in. So we have two and a half bathrooms. The wood, by the way, not, as the, not only is there a lot of it, but it is also an option. The standard wood floor is a three inch plank. Whoops, let's let it focus, is a three inch wood plank. In this case, this owner went with a five inch wood, which is an option 
Lots of beautiful options in this house, in this Tangerly Oak house that they've just finished. 2,565 square feet. Well, you can build this for less without a sunroom, without a telescopic door. I do recommend to all my clients that if you do one option, at least make it a covered porch and you can screen it either aftermarket or otherwise. My own choice is to have a concrete patio off of the porch. For those of you that like to barbecue, it's a good place to put that barbecue. And in this case, they stubbed out the gas at the back. This, uh, this owner chose a very nice lot that has a beautiful pond. And I see that there's a gator over there. Definitely a conversational piece for many of my buyers. Looks like the gator is having a, uh, a lazy day. Now needless to say that for anyone with children or pets, they will want to fence their yard, especially when you're over at a lagoon like this. Just for an extra degree of safety, as it is, the gators are afraid of us. That's why you're not to feed them, because otherwise they start to think of us as food. They lose their fear. Nothing like a new home, ladies and gentlemen. We have the brand new heat pump is standard in this climate. They generally last in the 10 to 15 year range. Many of the buyers that I work with tell me they don't want to be messing with renovating. They don't want to be fixing things. They want to be good to go. Last house they're ever going to own, et cetera, et cetera. This is a new product in the last so many years that has your pest control treatment actually in the walls. So when the pest control company comes out, they charge that up. That's optional. Pulte includes that in the construction. But then whether you subscribe and actually uh, use it is entirely up to you. It, uh, it, that has to do with things like roaches and, and ants and things like that. It does not have to do with termites. That's a different thing for which your house is bonded for a year. And I do recommend to my buyers that you do get a termite bond. We are in the south. It's hot and humid here. The termites love it. This is our tankless water heater. This is the way of the world these days in 2018. Uh, that is pretty much standard issue with these Pulte homes these days, at least in this area. Here's your communication wires, your electric meter, your sprinkler system, and your gas meter. Now, when you buy a house here, the building superintendent, when, you're, when they're finished, will actually walk through the house with you be kind of like a talking owner's manual, explain everything about the house to you, answer all your questions. It is actually the second walkthrough that they want you to attend. The first one is before they close up the walls with the sheetrock, and that's to make sure that uh, there were no mistakes before they close up the walls. The first uh, uh, meeting is actually where you go over all the plans with the superintendent. Uh, before they start building just to make sure that the contract and what they're going to go forward that there's been nothing missing So all, all in all uh, folks the quality control is very good And at the same time, I certainly recommend that you consider bringing me in as your buyer's agent It just doesn't cost anything more to have a buyer's agent on your side. I have 42 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder my commission is already part of every new home like this one or any resale home and i'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close so it doesn't cost anything more for you to have me working for you and if you don't buy i don't get paid but we can go over the other details when you call um, i think that we accomplished our mission today Talking about this Tangerly Oak, we spoke about at least a lot of aspects of the building process. Uh, we talked about the Haven, and we talked about my services uh, as a buyer's agent, at least in part. 
So let me give you my contact information and recommend that you call me. Let's get acquainted. Let's work together to find the right home and community for you. And my cell number, please call anytime. It's area code 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D dot com. And my website is gogated.com. And at gogated.com, you can search all the properties for sale here at the Haven or any other Hilton Head, Island, or Bluffton community. Uh, but uh, what I would recommend instead is to please call and let's get acquainted. Please email at my website. There is a button that you can, you'll see it and it says, just please tell me about your real estate needs what you're looking for, what your timetable is, some things about you so that we can get acquainted, start the conversation going. I recommend to buyers to bring me in early rather than later because I will save you a lot of time and give you advice that you can trust, help you with your questions, uh, hopefully give you a lot more confidence in your shopping process and um, that we'll have more fun, I would think. But... Most of my buyers uh, come to the area. They have a lot of questions. Uh, we want to compare on-island versus off-island communities. Uh, we want to compare resale homes to new homes. We want to compare builders. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. It's a big deal. You know, selling your home, moving to this area is a big deal. I'm here to help. If you're looking for a second home with a vacation rental component, I can help you with that as well. Again, I've been doing this a long time and I am looking, I am interested to work with you. So I'd be very happy to hear from you. So please call, please email. Let's get acquainted. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please subscribe to the Go Gated channel on YouTube. And thanks again very much. Look forward to hearing from you.